Hi there. A bit of a deep one today, actually. So I was talking to my friend who's recently had a friend who's lost her parents and we got a little bit deep about life and things like this. And I was saying to her, you know, I've had various experiences that have made me stop and think about life. Um, one of them was when I got stuck on a mountain in Ras al Khaimah in the summer, which is 50 degrees. And um, I was trapped there for hours and eventually rescued and hospitalised with... Um, heat exhaustion um which was probably a big part of the <laughs> build up to my adrenal fatigue amongst other things like working too hard and personal uh, traumas going on in the background but this is my story you know and um it's part of it as i came back to the uk um i actually my my sister's husband took his own life and um it, for many reasons made all of us step back and look at uh, look at how we live um and I'd spent a few months in India, I'd done my yoga teacher training, my hypnotherapy training, and when I came back to the UK, um, it was when I really started to think about what's really important to me, because I thought I'd done something different by going to Dubai and, you know, having a different kind of career, and I had, and it was amazing in so many ways. However, it still wasn't quite um, hitting the things that make me passionate, the things that motivate me, and also the way that I like to work. And I think that these days we're often stuck in that society rut of getting the house, getting the mortgage, having the kids, going to school, going to work. And although that is fine for the people that enjoy structure and that kind of thing, for the majority of us, we, we also feel that, especially those that are running our own business, we want to do it our way. And yet we feel that there's... Um, there's some fear, there is um, some reservation, there's maybe a lack of belief in um, taking that step. Um, and sometimes when big things happen, we really question what brings me joy and what do I resent, what do I get exhausted from doing, what do I not feel like doing, but what always motivates me, what do I do when I'm feeling even really tired and I'll still do it anyway because I love it and it gives me that energy. And... I, you know, I've spent over the years a lot, a lot of hours scribbling stuff like this down. Um, I've got various book recommendations, just message me, um, that help you with this process. Um, and I've even got a video, actually, that asks you questions. It's like an hour-long video that um, breaks it all down for you. It's called Drivers and Motivators. But um, I've spent a lot of time scribbling stuff out of my head. What is it that I want? What is it that I'm going? What is my passion? What kind of life do I want to lead? And yes, it's taken me to make massive life decisions, to cut back from stuff, to go to coffee shops to work from, knowing I'm not going to get paid from this for a long time, um, whilst I'm paying for my daughter in nursery. So you really have to sort of question, what changes are you prepared to make to give you a life that is that is ticking your boxes that you feel passionate about that you feel good about because i can tell you now it's it's not easy and there is a lot of work but it's about working smartly it's not about working so 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 hard that everybody tells you all the time i have a little girl that goes to nursery three mornings a week that's where i grasp my time so how do I get everything done? I work with people around me and I invest in that. And that's where why I try to find situations um, to, to cut costs so that I can afford to do that. And these are the big life choices. It's about whether you're happy kind of going along as you are, knowing that there might be a better way for you because not everybody's the same. Or it's about taking that step and going, right, there's, you know, if it's it's now or never, Let's give it a go and um, I would rather enjoy this experience in life at this age than leave it till right to the end. Um, but other people want to work hard and then retire early. So, you know, you've just got to ask yourself what is right for me. But if there's something niggling, something pressing, um, then chances are that that's your joy and that's your passion and it's time to take the leap. It doesn't have to be the be all and end all. You know, it could be the next step towards that. Follow your joy and you'll find it.